The Edmonton Rush are gearing for the Vancouver Stealth after a heartbreaking overtime loss to the Toronto Rock and last weekend's game against the basement-dwelling Calgary Roughnecks. First quarter, Robert Church takes the pass from Ben McIntosh and wires it past Calgary's Mike Poulin to make it 3-0 Edmonton just over five minutes in. Into the second for a Calgary power play, Sean Evans goes to Curtis Dixon, who beats Aaron Bold between his legs for the 27th of the season. Sometime later in the fourth, Calgary's Jeff Molesky rushes in and finishes on Bold to give Calgary the lead with 50 seconds to play. But 34 seconds later, the Roughnecks take a penalty, and that results in this. That's Zach Greer scoring his 22nd of the season to tie the game at 11 and send this edition of the Battle of Alberta to overtime. That is the last hurrah, however, for Edmonton fans as it is Daryl Veltman to beat and give the Roughnecks their second win of the season. With the loss, Edmonton is 4-4 four and four, but remains atop the West Division. Tonight's game against Vancouver will determine whether Edmonton maintains that position or drops to second place. You know, it's always intense, um, you know, overtime game. Um, you know, everyone's on, you know, putting their last into it, um, you know, giving it, giving their all, and uh, you know, it unfortunately didn't uh, come into our end. Um.